What is up, folks? Welcome to another edition of Billy the Kid's No Bullshit Toy Reviews. And today, courtesy of Show Z Store, we are taking a look at the New Age Legendary Heroes Dinosaur Forces Commander Ymir, a legend scale tune accurate Grimlock. And this thing is beautiful. It's beautiful. Let me just say really quick Show Z killed it. Super fast shipping. Blown away, it came sooner than expected. Uh, they send one of these little cards now. And on the back, there's a little QR code scanner if you have any issues. And a set of all different sizes of insignias for your bots. Now, this figure comes packaged in dino mode really fast. Look at that box art. That is just beautiful. That is just beautiful. I love it. That looks great. Super cool picture recreating the scene in the Gen 1 cartoon where the Dinobots and Autobots decide they're going to stick it out and work together. Very nice. Bottom and top. I mean, really, really nice. As for Grimlock, it comes with this sword slides out like so you actually can remove it from its hilt so it works as a fire effect in his robe in his dinosaur mode he comes with this blaster looks great holds it just fine there's no issue with the weapons not being able to be held nicely done he comes with an extra set of open hands and he comes with a fish, and I, I don't know what the reference is for this fish. I have no idea. So if somebody knows, leave it down in the comments. Hands are awesome. Just pop right out and pop right in. They look good. As for Grimlock himself, let's zoom in. And look at that face sculpt, man. That guy's great. Looks like he came right off the screen. Heads on a ball joint. A lot, a lot of up, down, all over the place, man. Very poseable here in the head. As for Grimlock himself, these pieces here move up, down, so however you want to pose them, they also can come out a little bit. So very poseable there. I just wanted to get that out of the way. We went over the head. Arms come up this far. They do give you the 360, but um, this little dinosaur shell is there, but you can get it. There is no butterfly joint. There is an elbow swivel. Elbow bends on a single bend, but all the way. I mean, it's very well done. Uh, we went over the fact that the hands are interchangeable, so the fingers don't fing, but there's a wrist rotation due to the way that they swap out. You've got a rotation at the waist. You've got a really nice ab crunch. Really nice. Full Van Dam. Let's plop that up. Let's plop that back. Kicks almost all the way up. Kicks almost all the way back, more than enough. You've got a thigh swivel, and you've got a excellent, excellent bend at the knee. Toe tilt, and nothing up and down. But um, die cast metal. These feet are definitely die cast. That's plastic. But it's very poseable. It's got great size to it. Really, really, really nice. Now it is a Legends class figure, so it is significantly bigger than a Core class. Here is Core class uh, Spike, just for a reference. And um, he's good, man. He feels good. Looks good. Here we have Grimlock. 
in his dinosaur mode. I have not applied a large Autobot logo here because the chest logo is here. This is the only thing that bothers me. I wish this had a little like flip section where I could flip that to cover it up. So I don't want two logos in front. I'm just going to keep it like this. Here he is from the side, from the back, with the tail wiggles, side and front. He's beautiful. He's beautiful. Paint apps are just perfect. If you want, you can plop this up and rotate this piece and you can change the color of his dinosaur mode eyes. Definitely nice little thought put into that gimmick there. Head rotates, head looks down, head looks up, arms rotate at the shoulder, rotate at the shoulder, like, you know, they flex at the shoulder and they move at the elbow. You've got a ball jointed hand for rotation and coming in, but there's no swivel here and it kind of hinders the way that you could pose his arms. So that I don't like. The legs kick, I mean, full rotation. You could do anything you want there. They bend forward, they don't bend backwards. So you're limited there. The mouth does open. As mentioned before, you take this sword and disconnect the hilt from that part and right in his mouth and you've got a really nice flame effect. All in all, I think he's wonderful. There's a few minor gripes that keep him from dethroning their Cyclonus, but he's a wonderful figure and absolutely worth the price of admission, especially if you're looking for a tune-accurate Grimlock because uh, he looks like he jumped off the screen. I love him. I absolutely recommend him. I got mine from Shozy Store. I have linked this product down below. As always, check out my sponsors, St. Mark's Comics, down in the link below. To my Patreons, thank you for your continued support and belief in my channel. If you like what you see, please give me a like and subscribe. This is Billy the Kid, signing off.